Hi, my name is Sam Shingles. I am the Communities Officer at Sense About Science, where I work involving various communities to champion the public interest in sound science and also ensure that evidence is used in public life and policy making. I was inspired to get into science communication because when I was at school, I wasn't actually that um, a brilliant uh, uh, science subjects and it took um, science communicators on TV or at festivals or just at museums. So I wanted to repay that sort of that, that gratitude I have from people like myself now um, gave to me and repay the favour and uh, help try and inspire a new generation. In 2019, Sense About Science partnered with the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons Knowledge to launch the Evidence-Based Veterinary Medicine Matters, which was a commitment by veterinary leaders to um, encourage and empower the use of sound science and evidence in veterinary practice, which showcased uh, good how sound science and evidence could be used to put uh, animal welfare at the forefront of, of veterinary science. And so we used the idea of um, showcasing how good evidence and sound science could be used to encourage the continued use. And I think this is a really strong way of um, communicating difficult topics such as the use of animals in research. Here at Sense About Science, we champion the public interest of sound science, and we do this through various programs. We run um, Evidence Week. Uh, Evidence Week is both based in Parliament in Westminster, and also uh, we have an inaugural uh, Evidence Week in Holyrood up in Scotland that we're launching in March. And we have opening events where constituents ask their MSPs or MPs uh, questions about how they're using evidence on topics that are important to them. We also run, um, we have a, a Voice of Young Science network where we try and champion um, some of these key messages at the early career research stage by running a series of workshops all year round that early career researchers can join in, learn about some of these techniques, our public engagement guide, transparency of evidence, um, and trying to instill some of these key core values that we have, ensure that the uh, new generation of researchers um, feel comfortable with public engagement, science communication involving getting them interacting with media and also policy makers. Point one is, I'd say, sign up to all the science communication newsletters that exist out there, all the different Facebook groups, uh, emails, lists, I'd sign up to them all, because I certainly know that everything I've got involved with uh, the moment I started my journey on science communication has been, I think, shared in one of these groups. So they're a great way to find similar people, a great way to see what's out there, what's going on in the science communication world, and it's just a great supportive network. So I'd say sign up to those immediately. Point two is, I'd say, don't be put off going into science communication because you might be afraid of difficult conversations. I think sometimes these difficult conversations and some of the more challenging conversations I've ever had uh, to do with uh, any aspect of science has almost been some of the most invigorating and helps you to contextualise and also reevaluate sometimes things that you've taken for granted that you think everybody potentially might understand. But again, it takes you back to that level of which effect, what, 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 are, what are we doing? Why are we trying to explain this? What is the real um, message that we're trying to get across? Finally, point three, I'd say, is to make yourself as visible as possible. So, you know, create a Twitter profile, potentially a website that highlights all of the work that you've done so far, any festivals you've been to, any videos you've made, any blogs that you've written, potentially even making um, making just your email visible on, um, say, a Twitter profile or so people can, can contact you for any collaboration or, or help with any projects that people are doing. So I'd say making yourself visible is a, is a great way to um, start your journey to uh, science communication.